KSI is going through a problem that many other YouTubers have had a problem with in the past. And uh, I think one of the people was Jacksepticeye. I might be uh, wrong. But basically, if you don't know, uh, KSI has two out of three community strikes on his channel. If you don't know, if you get three community guideline strikes, your channel gets permanently deleted. One, I, don't, I think you can't live stream. Then two, you can't upload for like a week or two. And then three, your account's just deleted. And apparently KSI, uh, also, by the way, I think these community guideline strikes go away after three months or so. But generally, um, this happened to KSI, and this has happened to a lot of other YouTubers as well. And the tweet reads, One more strike and it's over, lol. I feel like it's ined inedible anyway. I physically can't watch every single video I've made on my second channel to see if there's child safety in it. Now, generally, I don't really know what child safety is. I think maybe a kid got hurt in one of these videos or something, or something wild happened. Maybe they fell off something. I have no idea. Uh, but generally, there is a not safe for kids option, or not made for kids option, and uh, made for kids option, which I'm pretty sure KSI uses the not made for kids option, because the not made for kids option is, apparently, is better off for your videos anyway, versus made for kids. And this is really crazy, because I personally, I watch his videos, and I don't know how any of these at all would, uh, I can't go back and look at these videos now, because I'm pretty sure they are, you know, like, it's it's gonna, I'm pretty sure these videos have been taken down anyway, uh, so I can't really go back and look at these, and I don't remember what they were about, because I actually watched some of his videos, but to be honest, I'm pretty sure KSI would never post anything. Actually, I don't think, I know that he wouldn't post anything that would have this sort of stuff happen. And to be honest, uh, who knows exactly why these were claimed? The bot does do random stuff like that. And generally, as you can see here in the photo, these end on November 11th and September 6th. That is a good amount of months away. Yeah, I generally do believe that it's crazy and ridiculous that YouTubers have had to go throughout this for a long while now. For out of nowhere stuff like that happening. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that the reason that his videos got, or like the reason that they're saying is probably because a kid got hurt or something. Because uh, he, he most likely does have the not safe or not made for kids option on. But yeah, uh, let me know uh, what y'all think about this in the comments down below. I think it's ridiculous. I'm reading some of these Twitter comments and they're saying like, oh, just don't upload risky content for a few months. The thing is, is that this has happened to people for no reason before. So like, the thing is, is that it doesn't matter what type of con uh, no matter what you post, it can always accidentally get claimed and accidentally always have a problem. So there's not really a way to get around this. Even if you don't upload it, people or the bot can still go through other videos and then strike them down and stuff like that. So he's not really safe at all. He's in the very hot waters at the moment and can't even upload about it too, which really sucks. And I honestly hate how YouTubers have to constantly go throughout this. Um... But yeah, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments down below. I think it's ridiculous, and they need to fix this. But the problem is, is that it's mainly off of a bot. A bot is making these decisions, and apparently the bot is really, really stupid because it makes a lot of bad mistakes often. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments down below, and I'll see y'all next time.